Hello again guys. Um, in the last video I showed you how to uh, uh, install a Checkpoint Gaia image that is a file into a virtual machine using VirtualBox. Um, the reason to do that is that um, we want to add, actually we want to add a firewall to IDN Street Lab and that's the main reason why we are using virtual VirtualBox, right, since we can add the virtual machines into a GNS3 lab. So uh, this is the virtual machine I installed uh, the last time. Uh, I already have another one working but this one is the one I, I, I installed the other day. So right now that this, this machine is working but uh, in this video I want to show you how, how to access the device by the web user interface so you can uh, actually, you can configure or run the the first installation of Wizard. Okay, so uh, as any other virtual machine, of course, you will need to add um, you will need to add the virtual machine to your GNS3 configuration. And that's and that can be done on the um, on the preferences of GNS3. Okay, so if you go to VirtualBox VMs, you should be able to add a new virtual machine. And in the VM list, you should see the virtual machine that you haven't added to to GNS3. So in this case, I'm going to add Gaia 77.20. That is the one that I recently installed. Um, you can edit edit the configuration of the virtual machine. Of course, I will add more more adapters, four adapters, uh, since it makes no sense just to have firewall with uh, what with one interface, right? Okay, so once we added the virtual machine, we should be able to pull the virtual machine to our GNS3 lab. And uh, I already have uh, part of the configuration done. Okay, so I will just connect it. Um, in the last video, I used the, I selected the Ethernet serial like the management interface. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I'm using the Ethernet Zero interface to uh, connect it to the to the to the internal network. So I will I will manage this device using this Windows 7 machine. Okay, and in this Windows 7 machine, I will show you in this Windows 7 machine, I will need of course I will need um, a web browser to access the web user interface of, uh, and run the first installation wizard uh, to add interfaces or some more stuff and also um, it's very important that you have the smart console software already installed there in this video we will not use the smart dashboard okay which is used f to add policies uh, like like I mentioned your video like access control is in Cisco okay the same principle and um, also you can add um, I don't know NAT configuration VPN etc okay but in this video we will not be using the smart a smart dashboard only the web browser okay uh, it is very important it is very important uh, when you configure when you install the the virtual machine on virtual box um, remember that you have to set up a, an IP address for management right so that P, that IP address should be in the same network than the, our computer in this case my IP is 10.10.10.12 .10 .10 and this is the one that I will use for um, uh, this Windows 7 machine and I'm going to access from this machine my uh, my checkpoint, my guy appliance, right? My guy firewall. Okay, so going back to the lab, um, I already started machine, and you can see I already um, have access to the to the to the device um, using the credentials I set up during the installation. So if you haven't run the um, <coughs> the wizard, you will see a message like this: in order to configure your system access the web UI, uh, UI, UI I'm sorry I'm finished the first time wizard um, anyway I can I can uh, run a basic interface basic uh, CLI commands from here just to see the IP address that I configured 
uh, during the installation you can see that I have the 10.10.10.101 .10 .10 .10 .10 which is in the same network than my Windows 7 computer so I should have uh, connectivity and the interface is, is up and running right so going back to my Windows 7 machine I should be act, I should have connectivity to 10.10.10.101 10 .10 .10 uh, which is actually responding the ping okay so uh, in the web browser you can actually try to access the IP using an HTTPS connection okay and if everything is fine you should receive uh, a message uh, because this will not be a, a secure, um, a secure um, uh, connection right as you can see your connection is not private okay that that's because the HTTPS is not uh, valid it's not um, uh, um, it, we, the, the certificate the, the certificate has, is not working of course right so we'll go to advance and we will go to proceed with the unsafe connection and we will see a login page again so let's access with our admin account let's log in and we will go directly to the wizard okay um, notice that we are accessing uh, this computer from 10.10.10.101 .10 .10 .10 okay that is the the IP of the of the firewall but notice that please notice that the IP address of my the default gateway of this computer is that is 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 okay so if you see my lab well this gateway does not exist so I, what I want to do is to use my get my firewall my my Gaia firewall like the gateway for my network so I will have to change this IP which is a temporary IP that I that I set up you can keep it permanently that's not a problem it's up to you but I want to change it to 10.10.10.1 because I would have to change my DHCP server and uh, change the default gateway to this other IP so it is easier to change the, the, the firewall IP Okay, so uh, let's move forward with the with the first time configuration wizard. Um, okay, I will click next uh, to proceed with the Gaia R seventy seven dot twenty configuration. Okay, this is very very simple. Here you can see that I can change the management connection. So that's what I what I told you before. So I will change this IP to ten dot ten dot ten dot one and I consider it's not necessary to have a default gateway in this case you can keep the default gateway I don't know uh, whatever IP but in this case it makes no sense to me okay because um, actually I would be adding a default route for this firewall pointing to internet just for to, to you know, like a default gateway uh, for unknown, unknown IP addresses in routing table I should be pointed those addre addresses to my default gateway okay which will be uh, my service provider for example okay so I'm changing the IP to 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 and I will click next if you change the IP this is something very nice um, well you will receive a, a, a an information message so this is like a warning that because you are changing the IP but it's very nice that you will still have access via the old IP in this case 10.10.10.101 .10 .10 then uh, this IP will be keep like secondary IP but once I access the firewall using the new IP this will disappear from the configuration okay I mean once we access 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 this IP will not vary anymore Okay, this is a temporary IP. So I'm changing the IP. Um, this is for the user user center. Uh, since this is not necessary, I, I will select the Ethernet, Ethernet 3. Actually, this is optional, but you need to set up an interface. Okay. Let's move forward. In here, we can change basic parameters of the configuration. I would use Gaia checkpoint Gaia as my host name my domain name will be bestitsource.com primary DNS I will use um, DNS on in internet and we click next 
um, I will keep this uh, uh, manually actually you can set up an NTP server also but in this case I will set it up manually okay with my local time I will use this like a security gateway okay I'm not enabling the clustering service I will disable this because um, I don't want anything about contracts it's just for a testing okay I will click yes and here you will have the option to set up a new administrator name in this case I will set up a username for me for example and set up a password Um, this me this does not mean that you will not have access using the admin account that you set up during the installation of Redflow machine. Okay, it's just an additional IP. Um, okay, here you can uh, do any uh, a restriction of the management IPs that will have access to to this device via the web user interface. In this case, I'm not doing any restriction. I want any 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 computer in the network to access the device. Okay, and uh, that's it. Okay, that's the first installation wizard. I will click finish, and uh, the configuration will start. Um, will I mean the the configuration will be pushed now to the to the appliance. Um, you will see that these progress bars are uh, are filled from at, until to, um, up to 100 percent, of course, and then. They are marked with a green with a green uh, check, um, so that means that everything is going fine. At this point, what we have to do is just wait uh, until all the 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 progress are filled. Okay, so let's wait a while here. Okay, at this point, I'm um, the last step. Last step of the of the configuration. I mean, the 90% progress of the uh, last uh, task, finalizing the configuration. And uh, if everything goes fine with your with your installation, after this, you should receive um, a reboot message. Okay, um, that means that um, the device will uh, perform an auto reboot. Okay. So um, you can just wait for the one minute, for the minute, or just can click OK to perform the reboot manually. I mean to force the reboot, not not wait to the one minute. And uh, of course, you just have to wait. The installation um, will de really depends of your of your computer, right? Um, it is not like um, a standard five minute configuration. Will really depends how 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 fast is your computer okay as simple as that okay so let's wait uh, for the the machine to reboot and after this I will I will receive a login prompt again okay I put one side uh, log it in I'm logging I should not see any wizard anymore but I will be uh, I will have access to the to the web UE configuration so um, I should be able to perform interfaces configuration and so all the basic stuff. Okay, so let's wait for the system to reboot. Okay, and here we go. Um, so let's log in again. I'm using the admin account. I could use the other one, um, the one I set up during the wizard. I'm using just the admin account. Uh, I should receive exactly. I, I should be uh, able to 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 see the configuration of web user interface now. Okay, so let's wait for this to uh, to access the configuration. Okay, so as you can see, I'm seeing something completely different that we uh, saw the first time. And from here, you can perform uh, all the configuration that you need. Uh, with this, with this uh, 
interface and the smart dashboard, right? You need to both both tools to perform configuration. As you can see here, I, I can see the status of my uh, my interfaces. Um, right now, I just have uh, two interfaces working, right? Look that uh, Internet One is down because I haven't added the interface to the configuration. I mean, it is just like in the lab we connect to the cable, okay? We connect to the cable, but uh, that interface is not is not um, is not in the configuration. So I need to add it, I need to add it, and I need to enable it. And you can see that I only have the Internet Zero, and this is something very very. Um, very interesting uh, here. You can see that I have uh, the physical interface configured with the 10.10.10.1, and I have a sub interface with the 10.10.10.101, which is the IP I'm using right now to access the, the device. So um, I'm going to close this, this session and I will access using the other one, the other IP, the one I want. Uh, The one I want as a permanent IP for for this firewall. Okay, I will receive exactly the same message and I will proceed with the connection. I will have to access again. Let's wait again to um, pull the configuration. Okay, and uh, now I'm accessing I'm accessing via the ten that ten that ten that one. Okay, uh, as you can see here, I I should be able to add new interfaces, but I will not do this right now. I will do it in another video. So at this point, uh, we are we are good to move to the step number three, which is adding interfaces or doing a basic configuration on the web user interface. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching this video uh, please check in the next video if you need to, uh, to learn more about checkpoint and well thanks thanks for watching again